Opening a new chapter in the relationship between Africa and Russia, the summit, according to organizers, is the starting point for building fair partnerships as the Russian Federation begins to implement what it described as positive and future-oriented agenda for Africa. As convener of the summit, President Putin said his country, which has a lot to offer the continent of Africa, is ready to engage in competition for cooperation with member countries. We are all interested in making sure that Russian-African cooperation becomes truly systemic and comprehensive. It is important to support the framework policy of the African Union in restoring economy of countries that suffered from conflicts. For President Muhammad Buhari, Africa cannot thank the Russian Federation enough for many significant gestures of solidarity and support that shaped its history as a continent. He hopes to see the revitalization of this time-tested relationship by exploring new opportunities for the collective benefit of all. Let me clearly state that the time has come with this historic summit today for Africa and the Russian Federation to develop new mutually beneficial relations. On our part, I want to assure Russian friends that Africa is resolute and ready. We look forward to embracing the new dawn of Africa-Russia partnership in general and the revitalized Nigeria-Russia relationship in particular. He said despite its rich human and natural resources, Africa is lagging behind in capital and technology, hence the increased conflict, migration and instability. This, he said, informed the adoption of regional integration as key development priority towards addressing prevailing challenges as well as promoting robust, equitable and inclusive growth that will minimize conflict and enhance economic development. I want to emphasize that this mutually beneficial relationship must go beyond trade and business to address our infrastructure deficit, conflicts and terrorism, climate change and human trafficking. In respect of Nigeria, President Buhari wants to see the country forge a new cooperation with Russia that seeks to enhance its inclusive economic diversification agenda. Already, he said, his administration is investing aggressively in infrastructural development, while policies and programs have been introduced towards enhancing ease of doing business, reducing corruption in the public sector, and enforcing the rule of law. Today, we live in a world where collective peace and prosperity can only be achieved through collaboration and mutual respect. A political declaration on the main areas of Russia-Africa cooperation is expected to be adopted by the participating heads of state and government at the end of the summit.